So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the common financial challenges you find in both HOAs as well as condo associations. So we decided to create this video because as we've met prospective clients, we have found many board members that are frustrated with the way the financials are being handled. So we thought it was important to create a video that highlights the tips and how you could potentially turn that around and what you should be looking for if you're going to make a change. So if you're watching this video, you're probably going through the typical challenges that boards go through when they're not receiving their financials at time or if they're even receiving them at all. It's lack of understanding of how things are being paid for, when they're being paid for, not having a strong understanding of where you stand financially, vendors being paid late, and one of the most important ones is the residents feeling like you don't have control of the finances of the association and they feel a lack of transparency, which is not necessarily your fault. It could be whoever's preparing those financial statements fault. But ultimately, like everything else, the board is fully responsible for what occurs within the association. So let me give you a couple tips of what you could do to hopefully get things back on track. And if not, as I said earlier, what you should be looking for if you're looking to make a change. So step number one should be pretty simple is have a set clear deadline for when the financials are due. So here at Affinity, we have a set date for all of our community associations, depending on the size of the account as we give them a particular date. So if you're having challenge receiving your financials on time, check your agreement to see if you have a particular date on the agreement. If you don't have a specific date, I highly recommend that you sit down and you set clear deadlines with whoever's preparing those financials for you and tell them what the board is expecting from that organization moving forward. The next one is to find out if your current provider is using any systems to automate the completion of the financial statements. I know here at Affinity, we have bank partners that we work with that integrate well with our software that allow us to automate the pooling of bank statements, getting live balances, and so forth. This is gonna be more of a question because I don't see this being a change with the provider, but at least you can somewhat understand what's going on with their business process and how it impacts your association. So a simple question by asking them, are there any automated processes in the bank reconciliation, in the accounts payable, accounts receivable? What automation do they have that can allow for these financials to be turned in on time? The third tip is fostering strong communication and collaboration with your current provider. Here at Affinity, we try to take a positive approach to everything that we do, so I would recommend the same with your current provider. Set the expectation of what the new communication pattern is going to be with regards to these financial statements. How often are you going to meet? As an example, if you want an understanding of the financials, are you having a meeting once a month with the director or the CPA or with the bookkeeper or with your manager? to get an understanding of financials. Are these financials being uploaded to the association's website? Pro tip, certain associations are required to do that. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping this collaboration and communication, not just with the board and with the current providers, but also with the residents. If you find yourself that you're still having these challenges and you've given the provider a month or two to get back on track, I highly suggest for you to start opening the doors and having conversations with other organizations, whether it be affinity management or another firm, because if there's anything that an association needs is transparency with its financial statements, and they should be delivered on time so that you can make the decisions that you need to make for your association. If you want more tips or suggestions on how to make a change, I suggest you reach out to us at managebyaffinity.com, click on contact us. We'll be happy to have a conversation with you even review your financial statements and provide you some tips of what we see is working and what's not working. We do have an in-house CPA, that's our Director of Association Accounting, and she'll be happy to have a quick conversation with you and give you a highlight of what we see. So before I wrap this video up, it's very important that I say what really separates us here at Affinity. And one thing that separates us is that we stand behind our product. And what that means to you is if we give you a guarantee on your financial statements. So if we say your financials are due on the 15th and we don't deliver them on the 15th, you will receive a guarantee money back to your account for us not delivering your financials on time. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. 
Also subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have weekly videos coming out. I'll see you in our next video.